I wanted to make a video on some of the smaller combination locks and I'll, after that I'll do videos on some of the larger locks that I own and see if I can get into some of them. Okay, so let's push those out of the way and let's start with this one. This one is um, quite a, a, a nice made lock. Go travel. So the same old technique, I've just attached this for some for some tension. It's it's the same technique that uh, should be used for all these small locks really. Apply some tension to the shackle, start turning um, one of the discs with these small locks. It shouldn't matter which one you're starting with. This one sort of clicked into place uh, at five and it's very wiggly. Next disc, just trying to turn it without turning. The first disc. And it clicked into one and it's quite loose at one and and it's open. So these uh, little locks, I don't think they have any false gates. The next one I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to start turning. And it seems to click at five. At one. Has this one got the same combination? Maybe it has. It was given to me by the same person. And it's open. They, they just clicked into place exactly the same technique that can be used for many of these small locks. Okay, next one. Let's try this one. Now I've had a couple of goes with this lock to find out what was going on. And it turns out that this lock is really not secure at all. Um, I've put it to zeros. What I found out is that if you click the release, jiggle the numbers a little bit so that the release just goes in a little bit, then it will open. We can also clip it back in, turn the dials, let's turn them to 111 instead. Click the release button, jiggle the thumb so it just pops in a little bit, and it opens. I've tried doing this at 222, 333, and so on, all the way around, and it works. In fact, it seems that I haven't found a combination of numbers where it doesn't work. So I, I shuffle the wheels up randomly. You can see that the middle wheel isn't it's between two numbers. I don't care, I'm pressing on the release button, just jiggle and it pop, the release button pops in a little bit and I can release it. So I'll just do that one more time, shuffle it to something that some random number, I'm going to press, jiggle, pull and it's open. So this lock it's the most insecure lock I've ever found. I think it's the number one most insecure lock. Okay, let's go to this one. This one is an old bicycle lock. I remember these um, many years ago. So the technique is to pull on both sides Start to turn the number 
and it's the same as those other cheap locks, you just keep turning until it clicks into place, no false gates. I didn't feel anything clicking into place. I think it might have been three, and then move on to the next one. Couldn't turn it. Oh, it seemed to click into place already. Is that right? Yeah, and it pops out. You can see it popping out. Not just a click, but it, you can visibly see it popping out. Move to the next one. Okay, I'm going to do this. Let's a little bit of tension. Turning, turning, turning. And it seemed to click at this number. And the last one. And it's open. So not very secure at all. And the last one. Okay, with this lock, it's an old and dirty lock. Uh, the numbers were, the, the discs were really hard to turn, uh, especially under tension. So I had to spray some oil on it, and it helped a little bit, but it's still quite a difficult lock to turn the, uh, to turn the numbers. So um, the reason why I'm showing you this lock is uh, if I not just tension it, but twist it this way as I'm turning the numbers, which I'm inclined to do while I'm holding it, I could get to the right combination and it won't open. Uh, and I'd go right past the right combination. So I don't want to twist it this way. Try not to twist it the other way. Try and keep it straight. So I'm going to tension it straight at both ends. And I'm going to start with the first one. Bit of a click in six. Bit of a big click. That click you heard then. It didn't seem to, it was a click, but it didn't seem to jump into it. I didn't feel anything in the in the core. Same with that. Yep, six, it sort of jumps into it and I feel something. So I'm going to try the same moving this. I have to and use light tension because it's hard to move these numbers. Very difficult to move these numbers. Okay, you seem to jump into that number, and I felt something. So it's it's typical. This lock's typical as long as I keep it straight and don't twist it. It it will open. I didn't feel anything at all. I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to, or perhaps I'll go the same way, but I'll just, this wheel's easier to move. I'm going to increase my tension. Okay, it seemed to want to jump into one and uh, yeah it wants to seems to want to jump into one and it's open so yeah so all these locks these combination locks they don't have false gates and they're very easy to open don't lock up your valuables with the small or old locks, 